I'm at the Breathometer booth with uh, founder Charles Michael Yim, um, who's created a platform for uh, determining different things with your breath, right? So wh what are the different things that you can do right now? Ultimately, breath actually opens up a whole new door to detecting biomarkers non-invasively through the human body. Everyone knows of blood, saliva, sweat, um, even urine, but breath is actually the closest to the headspace of blood. Uh, so meaning that there's 300 biomarkers and we can relate any condition you, in chronic, disease, chronic condition or disease uh, that you can find through blood, but also through breath. So we as a, as a breath analysis platform, as Breathometer, uh, we started with alcohol, which is right here, which is the breeze. Uh, which retails for 99 bucks is in, in all 1,000 Best Buy stores. And what we just recently came out with and launched the other day on the Indiegogo campaign is Mint, which can detect breath quality and hydration levels. This is a prototype. Um, we're going to test it out in a minute, and I'm really I scared. Your teeth this morning, right? I, I haven't brushed my teeth since <laughs> breakfast. Why breath, and, and like, what are you looking for in breath quality and hydration? In terms of breath quality, it's not just bad breath. Actually, it's leading towards gum disease. It can be an indication of bad oral health care in general and your overall health as, as a person or human. Um, in addition to that, hydration has a direct correlation to poor oral health care. So it's not just telling someone that they need to brush their teeth. It's actually, you know, m more to it than that. Right, it's more about identifying the root cause. So in this case, instead of just masking your breath with say mint or gum, it's more about identifying the root cause. So is it tongue scraping? Is it brushing your teeth? Is it flossing? Is it drinking more water? Is it being just a little bit more aware of the foods that you're eating? Um, that's really the key and that's what mint empowers you to do. All right, we're gonna test it out right now. I'm gonna test it out right now. All right. All right, so you turn it on. So we're going to go ahead and turn on. This is again is the first real working prototype of Mint. Uh, when it's fully done and baked, it'll look something like this, but a little smaller. So anyhow, I just activated the app. So it's actually paired. I'm going to push a button, which actually activates the blower, which actually starts vacuuming uh, the air sample from your mouth. So whenever you're ready, all you need to do is bite down on the piece. I'm going to press measure. It's actually collecting a baseline right now. So whenever you're ready. Let's see uh, what your breath quality is like. Just keep it in your mouth for roughly about 15 seconds. This will probably shorten to about five seconds once the final product is out on the market. So here we go. Five more seconds. We'll soon find how hydrated and how great your breath quality is. I can take this off. And it's analyzing. That's it. All right. So it looks like you have three mint leaves. You're technically about roughly 160 parts per billion in terms of your H2S, meaning that you're not bad. And the, the more interesting thing, I think, is how hydrated you are. So you're about 80%, which is pretty average. Um, you actually took a sip of water a little earlier, right? Um, so this kind of gives you a good context in terms of what your oral health care is like right now. What are the other things that you could do with this platform? It can extend into uh, actual diabetes, glucose monitoring, lung cancer detection, which is about detected with roughly about 90% accuracy. We have two other products that are still in the health and fitness realm that will release uh, in the next 12 to 14 months. Um, so obviously we'll come straight to TechCrunch when that happens. Okay, excellent. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us. Cool. Thanks, Ryan.